It's said that when a car gets a flat tire in the wild, you can use hay or wood to get out of trouble. To find out if that's true, Adam intentionally punctured a tire and stuffed it full of hay. Then he drove the car onto rough terrain to put the hay-filled tire to the test. The test included speed bumps, potholes, and water-filled sections, all at speeds of no less than 30 miles per hour. Surprisingly, the tire held up really well. It functioned normally across all types of terrain. This suggests that using hay like this could help you get out of a jam and drive straight to a repair shop. Next, they tested the wooden sled method. They placed a piece of wood under the flat tire and secured it with ropes. So how well would this work? They tested it on the same stretch of road as before. At first, everything seemed fine, until the car hit a speed bump. The wood got stuck, meaning the wooden sled wasn't a reliable solution. Then they tried a new approach, cutting the wood into the shape of a tire and mounting it directly onto the car. They expected the wooden tire to be the most effective fix. It handled speed bumps easily and even flying over potholes at high speed didn't cause any problems. The wooden tire was rock solid. In fact, the test proved that a wooden tire could serve as a temporary spare. However, installing it required multiple tools, which made it impractical for real-world emergencies. But the experiment wasn't over yet. 